Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are in Venice, Italy. We just checked into our Airbnb. Of all the places that we've been, I genuinely do not think that there's been a place that has left me so shocked from immediately seeing it. As soon as we got off the train from Milan, my jaw literally dropped. Honestly, I'm just super excited to be here and to explore these next couple of days. But we just checked into our Airbnb, so let me give you a quick tour. Okay, so this is the front door area. You turn over here. Here, and this is just like a utility closet living room kitchen area and then you come this way we have the bedroom bathroom and look at these mirrors i'll have the airbnb link down below for you guys all day are gonna get settled in and then we're gonna start exploring I just finished at dinner and here's our rankings. What did I say? Seven, eight. <laughs> seven, eight. Okay, my ranking is a little bit lower. I'm gonna give it a seven, two. It was still really good, but I'm just trying to find that, like for pasta specifically, I'm trying to have that like, oh my God, wow factor. Like every time I eat it, I'm like, okay, wait, yeah, that's good. But my rankings, I'm being a harsh critic because we are literally in Italy. We just walked past this store and they have photos of how it flooded in November of 2019. That is so wild. Just got back to the Airbnb to hang out for a little and this is what I got. First purchase of Venice. Good evening vlog. We've arrived to St. Mark's Square and it is stunning. So stunning. The sun is like kind of setting on it which makes it even like more gorgeous. Fun fact, you guys, Venice is known for glass blowing, so there's like a ton of shops that have handmade glasses and like plates and just like a bunch of different little things, which I think is so cool. And they also have classes that you can take on how to do these little things over here, which I think is so cool. Oh my gosh, look, it's the Gritty Palace. <laughs> back to the Airbnb and a little recap of where we went. So the first bar that we went to was called the Bras Bar. And honestly, it was cute, it was fun. It was definitely more of like an Instagrammable moment in my opinion. Um, the drinks, however, for Odell and I both were very sweet. And it could have been honestly just the drinks that we got. Odell got a strawberry margarita and I ended up getting a tropical martini. So they could have just been like sweeter drinks naturally, but for us, they just felt very, very sweet. So we ended up leaving that bar. And then as you guys saw, we ended up going to another bar, which to be honest was more of a vibe in my opinion and we got limoncello spritz which <laughs> was another experience for us because we've never had those before and i don't know if this is like across the board how they taste normally but or the texture of them i guess because they were so thick they almost felt like a jello shot but anyways you guys that is a wrap for tonight we have a full day of exploring tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow morning good morning vlog it is day two and our last full day in Venice so we are definitely 
gonna make this day worth it. We're starting off by going to brunch because the last couple of days that we've been in Italy, we have been waking up pretty early. So today we decided to sleep in a little bit and have a true brunch. Here's a little fit check. Top is from Zara. Oh, bottoms are also from Zara. And you guys, these shoes. These shoes have been a game changer. Ignore the towels. But they are literally the Dr. Scholl's shoes. And I'm pretty sure they're called like the traveler shoe or something like that. And they have been incredible. Like if you're looking for a white sneaker that is also comfortable and you can walk miles in, these are the ones and I'm not even sponsored by this. But I will try and have them linked down below for you guys if I remember. If not, just leave a comment and I will give you the link. What is your outfit check? Wait, first of all, can we take a moment? Look how European he looks. <laughs> Shirt? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Ban Banana Republic? Banana okay. Republic. Banana Republic. And shoes? Zara. Yes. All right, let's go. I look like a whole egg right now. <laughs> we just got to a brunch cafe. Um, and I got my cappuccino. My dog got a fresh orange juice and we got some water. Oh, well, it's here. Thank you. Oh my god, so fast. Don't wants to say something. What? This bacon is sus. Why? Why is that? <laughs> okay, Odell's a big fan of like super crispy bacon and it's just a little like like floppy. <laughs> It's not very crispy. Yes, thank you. I got an omelet without the ham and it has um, cheese and peppers, I believe. But anyways, bon appetit. Alright, we just decided to come back to St. Mark's Square and go inside of St. Mark's Basilica. It turns out the line for St. Mark's Basilica is very very long so we're going to maybe come back later for it um but we just got some tickets for doji doggy do jazz <laughs> doji's palace um and we're gonna go explore that now this whole time we were trying to figure out who was doge <laughs> What that's, what just, <laughs> that's what we're just gonna call him because we already know we're not saying it right how does it is doge oh doge okay so doge is actually just duke it's the Duke of Venice, so that's what that means. So we are in the Duke of Venice's Palazzo. not getting a guided tour you kind of don't know where you are you're just exploring and we found ourselves in this like tunnel area which I think is a prison <laughs> like these look like little cells with beds and then the doors that get closed and latch we made it to back to the Airbnb it definitely started to get a lot more hectic like since it's midday I guess um, but also, I just can't imagine how it is during summertime since we're here in September. Yeah, I'm just happy that we didn't come in the summertime. But anyways, as for Doge's Palace that we were just at, it was pretty cool. It really wasn't like what I imagined as a palace. It was more like a museum, kind of. I don't know. It was still really cool. We walked around. As you guys saw, there was like a little prison area, which is what I'm assuming that's what it was, um, which was also really cool. I think that was probably the coolest thing for me. Uh, but now we are just back at the Airbnb, like I said, and we're going to chill for a little bit then get back out there and go get some pasta we're gonna go to a place that the reviews are insane it was actually recommended by a friend who's been here it's pasta to go so it's like in a little to go container but the reviews were almost 9,000 reviews and like 4.6 4.7 stars so it has to be good <laughs> I am bootlegging these angles so bad right now. The camera is on a Coca-Cola can. We just got our pasta. Odell and I both got the Alfredo with chicken and I put mushrooms in mine. And this is probably, it's so crazy because it's literally like pasta to go in a cardboard 
container. This sauce is definitely the best sauce that I have had so far. Alright you guys, it is 5 o'clock and Aldana and I decided that we wanted to take a gondola ride before we leave Venice. So we booked one for 7pm and now we are just chilling in this outdoor little table. We ordered some spritz. This is our view at the moment. Um, but I wanted to hop on because Aldana are people watching and we are witnessing uh, a little scammer if you will and I wanted to share with you guys what to maybe look out for if you do come here. Um, so there's a couple people that will just like walk around, they have bracelets and they'll go up to you be super friendly and toss you one of the bracelets and so obviously your instinct is to like, oh let me catch the bracelet you're throwing at me. But then once you catch it, they'll, it looks like they're telling you like, oh yeah you can have it, like it's a gift, it's a gift. But then they put it on your wrist and then basically end up making you pay for it. That's your little friendly update. Anyways, we just got our apples and it came with some potato chips and also an olive inside of my apple, which I've never seen before. It's a no for me. Your chips? Our best thing I've had in Italy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's a lie. They're literally like Lay's potato chips. But I will say, this is the first place that we've been where we've ordered just like cocktails that have brought like little snacky things with it. So we have like the little chips and then we have some little peanuts. We're just, we're big vibing right now. We're people watching, we're enjoying the weather because it's beautiful out. So we're just waiting for our gondola ride in two hours. And we are back at the Airbnb. Here is my recap and opinion on the gondola ride. Honestly, it was a vibe going on the gondola and just going around the town. However, if you do plan to book like a sunset gondola ride, just note that it might not actually be sunset and it might be like past sunset and actually just a dark gondola ride, which is what happened to us. Nonetheless, I do think that it is something that you kind of have to experience while you're here. The other thing that I will say is that depending on who your gondolier is, your experience might be better or worse. But unfortunately for us, our gondolier didn't really talk much or say anything or like make the vibe better, if that makes sense. Um, so it was just a silent gondola ride. Uh, we also decided not to do a solo, like just Odell and I, and we did a group gondola. So it was five of us and it was Odell and I and then th a party of three, which honestly was not awkward at all. We really didn't like communicate much. Odell and I were just having our own conversations. They were having their own conversations. Um, but like I said, it was honestly just kind of a vibe. It would have been better if maybe we got some information about Venice and like some fun facts, maybe if there was music playing, but it is what it is. We're happy that we did it. And now it's probably about eight o'clock and we're gonna chill for a little bit. We were gonna get pizza, but honestly, neither of us are super hungry. So I think we're just gonna resort for some gelato because we haven't had gelato here yet. And there is a place that has been calling our name and has incredible reviews. So that is the one that we're gonna try. Good morning vlog. It turns out I read the train departure time incorrectly. I thought we were leaving at 12 to get to Florence. However, we are leaving in fact at 1026 and it is 950 at the moment. So we gotta go, which means this is the end of the vlog. There's a no more exploring in Venice, but we did have an incredible time here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below, but we gotta go, bye.